It's 3 a.m. in New York. Police, like normal, respond to a call, but this time it's about liquor being served without a license at a popular club located on Curtis Street. The crowd outside watches as the bar employees are arrested and taken outside. However, when three bystanders are arrested for no other apparent reason than two of the men are dressed as women and the third, which happened to be a woman, was recognized as a lesbian, the crowd grew angry. They start picking up beer bottles and throwing them at the police. And finally, the officers are forced to take shelter inside the bar because it's gotten so bad. Finally, they call for reinforcements and the reinforcements arrive, but by this time, the protest has grown so large in size that it's spread through the local neighborhood. Finally, New York calls in the riot police and they're deployed and orders restored. Well, the club, Stonewall, is now a staple in the history of LGBT community. This riot was followed by several days of demonstration and protests throughout New York that led to the formation of several gay, lesbian, and bisexual civil rights organizations, such as the Gay Liberation Front. Today, this protest is recognized as history's first major protest on behalf of civil rights for homosexuals. Hi, my name is Jacob Birch, and today I want to take the time to inform you of the battle America is still facing, a belief by some that all men are created equal, and a belief by others that some people in today's society don't deserve the same civil rights as others. Today the battle for civil rights rages on. When people think of civil rights, it's not usually thought of as something that still happens today. I want to tell you a little bit about civil rights and actually give you an example of the way that civil rights are infringed upon when it comes to the LGBT community. According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, the actual definition of civil rights is the rights of citizens to political and social freedom and equality. Today's government, our own U.S. government, infringes upon these rights every day. The LGBT, LGBT community is forced to live a life that is not equal to others. The U.S. federal government accords 1,138 benefits based solely on marital status. This doesn't include civil unions. So that means that 1,138 benefits that are offered by the federal government are not available to same-sex couples. Another more familiar way that the government has infringed upon the rights of LGBT community is with the passing of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Don't Ask, Don't Tell prevented LGBT citizens from openly serving in the military, and it led to the discharge of several, several is an understatement, thousands of military members being discharged solely on their sexual orientation. And to this day, 38 states have by law or by constitutional amendments banned gay marriage. Absolutely no marriage for gay couples. Now this is just a very, very small portion of the discrimination committed against the LGBT community. I want to talk to you a little bit about the day-to-day -day trials that the LGBT community individuals have to endure just for being themselves. When most people think about being themselves and civil rights, they think of race. Race is a gigantic example of what these people go through. A little bit of statistics for you. Uh, the LGBT hate crimes in 2004, the FBI reported 15.6% of, of hate crimes were based on sexual orientation out of the 100% of hate crimes committed that year. Now 61% of those attacks were made against homosexual men and 14% on women, lesbian women. Now, that was 2004. In 2011, the FBI reported 20.4% of the year's hate crimes were based on sexual orientation. That's a climb of over 5%. 56.7% of those were against homosexual men and 11.1% on homosexual women. But the biggest number that disturbs me is that the other 29.6% were simply committed due to anti-sexual bias, meaning just because someone assumed that they were gay. 
Although we do see progress, statistics show that the numbers of hate crimes continue to grow simply based on sexual orientation. Now, there has been a lot of progress made towards civil rights for the LGBT community. Just in the past five years, so much has changed. In September 2011, after a discharge of some 13,650 service members based solely on their orient sexual orientation, Don't Ask, Don't Tell was finally repealed. This allowed openly gay service members to serve in the military and fight for their country, something that they'd been doing for hundreds of years. They just had to hide who they were prior. Another gigantic milestone that we've made is in June of 2013, just a few months ago, last month to be in fact, a law that allows states to refuse, the, uh, refuse to recognize same-sex marriages granted under the laws of other states to include refusal of any service member's marriage in the military, denying any benefits offered to heterosexual couples from same-sex couples. DOMA is finally struck down. This is a law that's been in place since 96, and it is a law that has oppressed the people of the LGBT community, especially service members. Now, one of the most interesting things I find about today's culture is that pop culture has, in, has a huge influence on the LGBT, prog LGBT community's progress. I mean, you watch TV these days, and it seems like there's always a character. There's always someone... And it seems like it's more accepted. Personally, I blame Glee. Glee, not cool. <laughs> but it is gigantic milestone for us to be able to even portray LGBT community members on television. It was outlawed prior. That is amazing. Now, I don't know where it's going to go. I hope that it continues to grow and get better and get easier for the community of the LGBT members. But know that there are still issues. There is still a fight to be had. Today I've told you a little bit about the statistics of violence and the horrible discrimination against a specific group of people. Many will argue that gay rights is not a matter of civil rights. But I challenge you, look back in history. Compare the trials that the LGBT community are going through to the trials that other groups have gone through and fought for. Fights that we refer to as civil rights. Tell me that today's fight for civil rights does not closely mirror history and so many of the other specific groups and their fight for equality. In the words of a popular hip-hop artist in today's culture, no freedom till we're equal. Damn right I support it.